Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Titus. Uh, just going to do a little voiceover for this video. We went out to um, the closed zone where you can take videos and film and got some unbelievable footage. Like, me and Travis had no honest clue that we were going to see. Me, Travis, and Taylor went out there and we had no clue that we were going to see what we were going to see. So, just for the beginning part of it, I just kind of wanted to show you guys some of the stuff we've seen. I thought it would be pretty cool for you guys to enjoy. I'm not going to do it, talk the whole time, don't worry. <laughs> and if you're not subscribed to the channel or anybody else that's watching it, watching it, I'm pretty sure that you probably came here because you've seen the thumbnail and uh, it's not a, uh, what do they call it, clickbait, it's for reals. And I got more stuff than I've even said on the thumbnail, so wait till you guys see what's up. How you guys like those cinnamons right there? Wait till you see this group we've seen more cinnamons this day than we seen i've ever seen there was way more cinnamons than there was green wing teal and sorry guys it's not like super clear i was doing it through my scope cam whatever with my my long range scope with my phone i did have it on 4k but it just kind of degrades it some of it's super super sharp <laughs> no, just off camera. you stink dude pull your window up down Stink. Good grief. Yeah. I'm getting six of them right here on video. You keep talking. Travis, Travis is getting excited like usual. Travis is freaking out here. We're getting all these cinnamons on video. We got thousands of snows flying over us. Look at all these cinnamons, guys. Ridiculous. This is with the scope cam. Sorry if it's not. I think there's a band in there or a net collar in there somewhere. I don't see one. You'd think out of all those birds, I'm probably thinking if anybody's whoever's watching this just pauses it and looks, you got to be able to find something. I don't know, a band or net collar or something. We looked so hard, and never found one. I saw a flight on the deck right here. What is that? I don't know. See it? Yeah, I'm videoing it right now. Okay, we could not decide if this was a leucistic. Sparrow or a albino? I think it was albino. That might be a that might be a blackbird. It's just albino. His face kind of looks red too. It, it flew up in the air. I've never seen that kind of bird. It's either it almost looks like it's leucistic or something. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Dude, look at him. Check him out through this, Charles. Yeah, look at he's in he's here. Taylor in the in the video. To me it looks like his face looks like his face is red. That mallard's a Drake Mallard sitting right in the middle of those snows. He's preying himself. Uh-huh. He's kinda of to the right of the group in the back. Dude, that that Gaddy has a solid white ring around his neck. Yeah. Uh, like, huh? Dude, I mean a solid white ring. I, it'd be hard to point him out to you, because unless he has his heads up, you can't see it. Like there, right there. Look. Wow, that's cool. See that other one doesn't. Those other two don't. Right. Right, right. It's that same patch you were telling me about with the widgeon, but they're to the right of it, Travis. There's a whole bunch of widgeon. Yeah, but I'm sorry, widgeon. I don't know why I said widgeon. Gadwell. He's the one on the left. Wait till he turns his head. Right there. Yep. Right there. See him? He just put his head up. Now his head's back down. See, none of the other ones have it. Just him. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Just wanted to show you guys a little bit of how many birds, man, they were flying. It was just insane. Just showed you a short little clip there. You know, got to throw in the full shot of the shovelers. Sitting up and flapping his back. And of course, you know, we love the mallards, so I gotta show you just a little shot of the mallard. Believe it or not, there actually wasn't a lot of mallards out on this this um, refuge. I was kind of shocked. Uh, really wasn't hardly any, any at all. I think they might have already went back north. I don't know. And we got our old widgeon. And I'd like to say, if there's anybody that is trying to learn bird identification, check out refuges around you and see what the rules are about going out there or seeing if they have some bird watching area or something take you some binoculars or something out there you can really learn um bird identification oh i just got those witch those uh buff heads diving right in front of the screen that's cool then you got those ruddy ducks they're really getting their blue bills yeah those ruddy ducks are getting super red Another widgeon, thought was pretty cool. Just, it's funny. He goes, I think he passes out and goes to sleep here in a second. The hen's already sleeping, you can see. I think he tucks his, yeah, see. He tucks his bill under his wing and takes a nap. I like this, how this Drake Pintel, he just comes, floats in the screen and starts taking a bath. Pretty cool, all the other birds are passed out cold. This is midday. Just chilling like villains. Just plumed to the max every single Drake. Really getting some good crystal clear um, sharp shots here for using that scope cam, I think. If there's any bit of wobbling, I mean, you can just breathe on this camera and it shows a lot of vibration, but it's just neat watching them bathe and scratch and rub that oil all over to, you know, waterproof their feathers. Just really neat. I can tell you there wasn't one drab <laughs> pintail out there or, or any drake. I hope you guys are enjoying this footage. If you do, if you're liking it, just give this video a thumbs up. And hey, guys, share this video around. You know, pass it on to other people. Even if you have you know some biologist or put it on Facebook or something. Just get it out there. I'd be curious to what some rural professionals say about some of these these uh, video here coming up here real soon. Okay, does anybody know what this is? Comment below. Yeah, go ahead. Travis found this one. He's got us. He's look. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Dude. Brewer's duck, guys. If you don't, if you haven't guessed already, it's a gadwall and a mallard cross. <laughs> Sorry, dog. You see that? Got it. I got it. <laughs> That's all he would do. He wouldn't pop his head out anymore. Kind of took a still. He did not want to stay on. We were ruining his nap. I just thought that was crazy. He a brewer's duck that. Yeah, ball and mallard cross. I found him, boys. Look what I found. Leucistic speck. Leucistic speckle belly goose. A leucistic white front goose. Isn't that crazy? I looked at him and I thought, wait a minute. I actually found got to find this one, so I was pretty stoked. Look at that. Check that out. Oh, I wish this camera would focus better. Check that out. As we're watching this right now, it's going to get really sharp image here in just a little bit. Dude, they don't care. They don't care like we do. They won't even know. They don't even have these people don't know drones. Uh-uh, seriously. So if you look at the difference between this this goose and the snow, because, you know, it threw me off at first. I was like, what in the world is that snow doing in there with the, all those specks? Then I thought, wait a minute. 
because it's got that cream color. A snow is super white. Kind of blueing, Taylor. Not even the same thing. Plus, he's got the white patch, the white front right behind his bill. And uh, he's hanging out with them. He thinks he's a speck. I mean, he is a speck. <laughs> he's just a, you know. And guys, uh, lucism. If you don't, you're not familiar with with lucism. Lucism is a condition in which there is partial loss of pigment in, pigmentation in an animal, which causes white, pale, or patchy coloration of the skin, hair, feathers, scales, or cuticles, but not the eyes. So basically, they just turn super. They're just cream in color, but their eyes aren't red like an albino. So an albino it gets real red and they're stark white. These, if you'll notice, Travis actually shot a leucistic teal, green wing teal, and it was just that same creamy color. I've seen some pictures on Google with partial leucism on some specks in Canada geese, but like nothing like this. I mean, I haven't found anything. If you guys have, comment below. And hey, again, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you pretty stoked to see something like this. We we were pumped. Me and Drowse were super excited to be able to see something like this. Are you videoing this Yeah. Oh, yeah. I turn it on. I seen him right, as soon as I, I seen him before I my bronchus, I looked at him, I was like, why is that snow in there? And then I started looking, I was like, wait a minute. His bill, his face, his legs, everything's the same. Wait, look at, you know how the, they have like a white stripe right here? You can tell like, that part's white on him because it's really yeah. green. You didn't believe me when I first said that, did you? Well, I was like, I knew you see something different, but I was like, damn, what's the, what's the chance of seeing two, yeah. two, like two birds like that in one, you know what I'm saying, in one tree? Mm -hmm. Not very good. Huh? Not that good. And we were gonna, I was just gonna leave. Here in a second, I get even a closer, more of a close up shot of him, and it's really sharp the image. Look at that. Oh. That's cool. Mm hmm. I wish I could have got it all that sharp, but that is super clear. Isn't that cool? Sorry. You get pretty excited seeing something like that. We spent like four hours out this refuge looking dude this is an awesome picture of him now yeah with his head up turned you can just see the whole felt felt pretty uh blessed and fortunate to see something like this and he could look and look for years and probably never find one like that again and then i just kind of wanted to show you guys here towards the end of this video all these roskies i've never seen so many roskies uh, this wasn't even a portion this wasn't even a drop in the bucket of all the Roskies we've seen. If you're not familiar with the Ross goose, they're just a lot smaller. I'm not going to see how... Okay, see that speck on the bottom left? Look at the Ross compared to them. Look how much smaller they are. I just thought it was cool, too, how they're coming in, landing and stuff in the shot. I just left it running. Kind of the bottom left part of the screen is a lot more in focus, but look at that coming in right there. I thought that's cool. Right there, those two coming in. It's just, it's really neat. Uh, I'm telling you, four hours went by before we even realized it. So anyways, guys, I'm, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for Waterfowl content. And uh, have a good one, guys. See you next time.